Hello and welcome back to my channel Keratin and Curls. In today's video I just thought I'd come on here and just do a really quick video just showing you how my hair is looking two and a half to three months on from doing my last keratin treatment. I'm just going to style my hair now so you guys can see how I'd normally style my hair and what my hair looks like when it's dry. I've definitely got quite a few sections that I've started to revert back uh, to my natural texture. So I have washed my hair already um, with the Cantu shampoo and conditioner. Let the conditioner sit for a while because as the keratin treatment started to wash out of my hair, my hair is back to being just a little bit drier, a little bit more on the dry side. As soon as I got out of the shower, I went straight in with my leave-in conditioner. My hair is damp now, like it's a little bit wet, but it's not it's not soaking, so I definitely am gonna need to just refresh. I'm now going in with this curl shape and shine cream from Avalon. She just got it all over my sofa. So I just like to comb that through. But when I'm combing that through, because I am trying to fight against the shrinkage, I like to just pull my hair down to kind of keep those curls stretched. And then I let them revert on their own. So. So the biggest difference I've noticed after having the treatment done is that it's so much faster to detangle. Um, as it's three months on now from the treatment, it is starting to take a bit longer for me to brush through my hair um, as the treatment is wearing out. Um, but other things I've noticed is that I don't need to section my hair as much when brushing through and I found that my hair doesn't absorb as much water as usual as well after a keratin treatment. And I do like to use a lot of product just because I only wash my hair really every two weeks by using a lot of product and keeping everything quite defined now I think it allows my hair to last longer okay so what I'm doing now is I've just gone in with my styling gel and I'm just again putting that all over my hair and pulling it down as I'm applying just again to try and keep that length just need to sort the front section because I just realised I forgot to do my part in, which was stupid. I always forget this. To be honest, my front, the front of my hair always is a bit frizzy. I've just kind of got to the point where I'm like, you know, I can spend a lot of time finger coiling it, but I just think, let me just dry my hair and deal with it when it's dry. So, I'm now going to go in and just diffuse my hair. Um. The way my arm was aching during this diffusing was crazy. I feel like diffusing your hair is like a whole workout in itself. And so here, I'm just putting the hair to try and stretch it out so that my hair doesn't shrink up too much. Um, when I've got a keratin treatment in, I find that I can do this more easily without it going super frizzy. And this is the final result. For reference, this is what my hair was looking like before the treatment. It did shrink up a little bit more, but overall, I am pretty happy with it. Only other thing I wanted to add is just that you can really see the difference, I think, with the different sections and how they revert back. So I find that this side of my hair um, is quite a bit tighter and gets a lot more shrinkage. And I find that this side of my hair is just naturally a bit more stretched. Um, and I think that is actually linked to how I applied the treatments. Naturally, when you start straightening your hair, you take care and you take time on the first few sections. And the first few sections I did my keratin treatment on was this side and I really did take my time with it like I went over each section slowly whereas when I got to the front section where you can see I had to put basically a lot of product in that but for this side generally I was kind of tired by that point and I didn't spend as long straightening this section yeah it's definitely interesting to see how heat heat on application corresponds to the final results that you get 
Sadly, once the treatment had fully worn off, which was actually a couple months after filming this video, I did notice my hair was looking a bit damaged and more prone to breakage than normal. So I will be updating more on this and how I fixed it in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.